This is certainly a stop to put on your must-see list. The Blandford Church and Cemetery is on the National Register of Historic Places. It's an exquisite location with such history and a celebration of life. Historian Martha Atkinson shares why. Well, we're here at Blandford Church and Cemetery, and I want to tell you a little bit about the interesting history of the burial ground here. Our oldest marked grave is 1702, and we do have uh, burials that predate that time that are unmarked. But this cemetery is still active, and it has over 300 years of history, amazing history. This is a municipal cemetery, and it is a very diverse population here. From those that were here very early on, when this was a colonial area of Virginia, to present day people that are buried. We have a lot of veterans from all wars. The first African-American mayor of Petersburg, Mayor Fauntleroy, is buried here. And we certainly have people from all walks of life that are part of the cemetery. The celebrity that's buried here at Blanford Cemetery is Joseph Cotton, the famous actor from the 30s, 40s, and 50s. He was born and raised here. Of course, spent his adult life in Hollywood, but uh, is buried here in his family plot at Blanford Cemetery. The church itself, built in 1735, it does have a lot of amazing integrity with the Flemish bond pattern. And it's amazing, the, the brick walls are the only original aspect left to the church, and they're almost 300 years old. So that shows the craftsmen, the artisans that made the bricks, built the church, uh, knew what they were doing and did an amazing job. It is virtually breathtaking in Blandford Church. The panels here are unlike anywhere in the world. Martha, it's gorgeous. It truly is. This is a very unique church in that we have 15 original Lewis Comfort Tiffany windows that had been installed in this church over 100 years ago. Uh, the windows at that time cost $350 with a $35 fee for shipping and installation. So less than $400 per window and of course they're priceless today. At $350 a panel, they must have known it was an investment, but did they know it was an investment for the future? I think they truly wanted to have something special here, and they probably would be very proud to know that this is still a site that people come to enjoy these beautiful windows. I think they'd be very proud of the fact that they had the foresight to ask the stained glass master at the time to create these beautiful windows for Blanford Church. Martha, these are exquisite works of art and very intricate. It took probably three and a half to four months for each individual window to be made. And again, with the teams of artisans working on in Tiffany Studios, you do have a product that truly is amazing and priceless. This particular window is St. Paul and he's holding a beautiful sword in his right hand. He was beheaded, which is what that sword represents. It's made of beautiful iridescent glass, and it does look very much like a lightsaber from Star Wars. But what's interesting is you had a team of people creating these windows, people that would draw the design, that would create a life-size cartoon, which would be used to create a beautiful, probably watercolor scheme of what colors were used for the glass, glass pickers, glass cutters, people that soldered and put the windows together. So you had many people working on one particular piece at a time, and I think that's why these are so phenomenal. Inside Blandford Church, you certainly have a beautiful collection of wonderful art, but head outside, and there's no shortage of examples here, too. Funerary art is simply a symbol on a tombstone that has a certain meaning behind it. It's a language in a sense. This particular cemetery has a wonderful collection of beautiful funerary art. And one of the things that we see behind us, you'll see a married couple that are buried here together, two columns representing their long lives together. But also notice at the top you have two small urns. The urn is representing the remains of the body. And you'll also notice the urn representing the woman is a little smaller than the gentleman's. And what's incredible is these arts and these beautiful uh, commissions were really a celebration of life and a celebration of wealth. The cemetery does have very interesting types of funerary art in that you may be able to tell whether a family was wealthy compared to someone else based on the type of monument they erect in their family plot. You may not be aware of why that particular stone looks that way, but it does have a lot to do with wealth and status in the community. One of my favorites to talk about is 
Kate Dunlop, who was out toward the newer section of the cemetery. Uh, she passed away in the late 19th century. Her husband wanted to have a beautiful statue erected to her memory, and he actually had a portrait of her sent to Italy. The artist created a larger-than-life statue of her that is now placed on top of a beautiful pink granite pedestal in the family plot of the Dunlop family. So many reasons to visit the beautiful Blandford Church and Cemetery. From art and architecture to certainly history, you'll want to start planning your visit today. Visit our website, bestpartva.org, and make sure you plan your visit to the best part of Virginia.